Hey friends, welcome back. So I've been riding the FRUFR skates for the last six months and today I want to do a review of them. I always like to start my review videos with clips of me skating the products that I'm reviewing. So let's go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Alright, so before I dive too deep into the review, this is the part where I ask you guys, if you like the content, please consider liking, subscribing to help outreach more people uh, with this content. And if you've ridden these products, feel free to drop me a comment. I'd love to hear any of your feedback. And then I would also like to hear any questions that you may have. So let's go ahead and dive right into the review. So in today's review, I'm gonna be going over various components of the boot itself. I'm not really going to dive into any kind of frames because these generally come boot only. If you've got any questions about what frames I've liked on these, I'm happy to talk offline about that. I've ridden a bunch of frames. Um, so I'm going to talk about the sole plates. I'm gonna talk about the boot. I'm gonna talk about the cuff. And then I'm gonna talk about the liner. In each of those components, I'm gonna talk about what I like, what I don't like, and what I think could use some improvement, if any. All right, so the first component I'm going to talk to you about today is the sole plate. The sole plate is a one-piece material. It attaches to the bottom of the boot via the frame bolts, and there are no independent fasteners that secure the sole plate to the skate itself. The thing that I absolutely love about these sole plates is that it is made of a very hard, very rigid material, and that material slides very fast, and it requires a minimal amount of wax in order to be able to grind. Now, the two things that I don't like about these sole plates is if you can see, there's some additional material here, and this is because of the way that the boot itself is shaped, and I will get into that here in a little bit. But then also, you know, combined with the frame bolts themselves only securing the sole plate, it feels like during some grinds that you're completely disconnected from the grind itself because the sole plate is sitting about an inch lower than my foot. So I've missed a lot of tricks because of that. And then um, with the frame bolts only holding the sole plates on, you know, if you're riding a tall frame or your frame bolts start to loosen up a little bit, you feel a lot of torsion and slop when you're trying to grind. Um, so those are my least two favorite things. You know. If I had a recommendation, I think that they should chop the boot, they should bring the sole plate up a little closer, independently fasten it to the boot, and that would give it a lot more rigidity, which would improve the overall performance. All right, so the next component that I wanna to talk to you about today is the boot and the cuff. So I've skated both the white and the black FRUFRs. I've noticed the white is a lot softer of a plastic, which means it has a lot more flex. Biggest complaint with the black FRUFRs is that they are very rigid, hard to get boot down, and don't offer a lot of flex. So the white is a major improvement of that. I talked to Anthony Potier at Bitter Cold Showdown. He was in agreement that, you know, the plastic on the white was softer. Um, you know, I think the reason that they are so uh, stiff 
in general is because it has this additional plastic on the shell itself plus you know some redundancy on the cuff and the FRUFRs are really an adaptation of their big wheel skates which need more plastic because it's meant to keep you from like rolling your ankle and give you a lot of stability um you know so with the whites how i typically skate is i cinch up my intuition liners i leave the cuff a little loose to kind of compensate for the stiffness of the flex or yeah the stiffness of the cuff and then that allows kind of the perfect remedy to uh for the stiffness now the shells themselves are somewhat open on the front so the liner kind of pops up but once you lace it down i feel like i never have any problems with uplift which is a great feeling now the uh, buckle itself the uh, original version of the frufrs had a plastic buckle which was a lot lower of a profile and the newer versions have a metal buckle i honestly preferred the plastic buckle over the metal because it's a lot smaller and a lot thinner of a profile and it latches down and actually locks so i felt that i was hitting it less if i ever missed a trick um, the ufrs also come with a 45 degree strap i felt like these really help because the liner kind of sits up a little higher than the shell itself so it does play a role in actually like strapping over the liner and it holds it down plus you combine it with these thick laces and it's a great feeling now the inside of the skate that comes with this foam um, pad on the inside but i felt like that foam pad didn't really do a good job of providing shock absorption so i ended up just using an intuition foam bed and that gave me some additional shock absorption which you know really helped me out I did notice that there was some sharp metal kind of sticking out on the um, buckle itself. So I just threw some duct tape over that and haven't had any problems with that. Um, but overall, you know, the boot itself is probably one of the lightest boots that I've ever skated, especially with how much plastic in, is here and how stiff the boot itself is. So one more comment I wanted to make about the sole plate is that it is a raised heel boot and because of the configuration of the FR skates, what they did is they added this additional plastic on the heel um, and then they also have like some uh, plastic on the toe area but it's a lot thicker at the heel and I felt like that the heel raise was somewhat aggressive, like it feels good if you're just cruising around but grinding, I felt like when I would jump onto different components, I was actually skating on the front half of my sole plates more than kind of an equal distribution. Now, you know, with the additional nubs on the bottom, that is part of why the um, sole plate is so thick is because it contours to the shape of the bottom of this boot and then that means that the bottom of the sole plate is like even further removed from your foot. I think what they could do is shave this down, actually provide a profile for the sole plate that brings it closer to the bottom of the foot, and that would give it a lot better of a ride. Again, you know, once you get used to it, it's not so bad, but I still find myself missing tricks here and there just because it is so far removed, so it feels somewhat unnatural with the way that you land on something is because you almost have to factor in that you're going to be an inch above where you really should be all right so the last component that i want to talk about is the intuition liners um, the original version you used to be able to get fr liners or the intuition liners the newest version only comes with intuition liners so i'm really only going to talk to intuition liners because that's the only liner that i've ridden in the ufr skates so the newest version of the intuition liners it uses a softer foam even though it is the same thickness it feels a lot more pillowy a lot more cushiony and then because it is a little bit softer of a foam it allows for a little more flex within the skate itself. 
I've noticed that the toe box on the newer version is a little bit wider than the old version. Didn't really affect the way that I skated. The bottom of the liner, it has some foam built into it. I noticed that this foam really didn't do a whole lot for shock absorption, so I had to use an independent footbed just to give me that shock absorption. Um, because of how aggressive the forward lean is in the FRUFRs, I did not use the Velcro uh, shock absorption for the heel that came with it just because I felt like that put me too over the top for forward lean where I was kind of more riding on the front wheels than I was the back so my weight balance fell off. Um, I really like the um, liners for these because of the FR skates it basically laces up to the top two eyelets and then you integrate the liner with that and everything sucks down and cinches tight and it just feels like a really good it basically makes it feel like one monolithic skate where uh, you are completely secured in there and your foot and liner are not moving around. So that is a really good feeling. One thing I noticed with some of the past Intuition liners I've skated, you know, within the black version of the FR and in the them skates is that, you know, the liner would start like breaking down and wearing in different pieces. It would start getting torn up. And on the white ones, I've noticed absolutely none of that. So that makes me think that the liner in the newest version is a little bit higher of a quality. Um, so I personally absolutely love the liner in this, you know, because this is white, you know, it's starting to exhibit some sweat stains, which is kind of to be expected. So I'm not counting that as a defect, um, but the feeling of the white FRUFRs to me has outweighed the black just because they're more flexy and uh, feels a lot more pillowy and re responsive. All right, so what's my final impressions on the FRUFRs? I absolutely love these skates. They are a great feeling skate. They're really responsive. Um, it is probably one of the best fitting skates for me other than original rims and absolutely love it um, you know I've enjoyed my time on these I'm gonna continue to ride them and I would highly recommend it for anyone looking for a good form-fitting skate that you know they can go out they can do some good cruising at the skate park hit a bunch of tricks and have a good time yes they have some nuances I haven't really experienced a skate that hasn't come with nuances but this is something that I would highly recommend and would definitely buy in the future uh, definitely some room for improvement in some areas um, but overall you know really enjoyed them and it's something I would look at purchasing in the future you know if you've got any questions got any comments feel free to let me know and I'm happy to talk to you more about it thanks all for checking in